guys welcome back to another episode so one of the things that we have issues with at the moment is the amount of traffic going through here um one of the things that i thought about last episode while i was editing was basically to create a off-ramp somewhere around here uh, we're going to need to move the railway possibly or something like that but just to basically allow people to go around um either back into the city or out of the city, um, depending on the direct direction that they're coming. Uh, adding it directly to the off-ramp here is probably not the best idea. So um, what I'm going to do is just delete this for now and we'll see if we can't um, fix this with creating a on and off-ramp over here. We're gonna need to move our police station and stuff. So it's a little bit further away, but um, that should be good for now. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and clean up some of this. What I'm going to do is bring the rails underneath the line there, underneath the ground, and we'll set up the uh power lines to go on the side of the cliff here i think that would probably work a little bit better so we'll go like this have to uh turn off snapping so we can kind of bring it a little bit further over here and we'll bring it up here connect that up and that should give us a little bit more room and then we can go ahead and set up the rails to go under so basically what i want to do is give them enough uh time to switch lanes over onto that side so we might even go under a little bit further back over here uh, i know that they just come down at this point but it might be a little bit better to do it over here and then we can go over here and then connect up and that should give them enough uh give us enough room to do the off-ramp and stuff uh back towards the city so let's go ahead and set up that we're gonna need probably a way in so we'll see if we can't um do that we'll branch it off maybe like that so we can have a little bit of a room t for them to get on and off
need a quick investment from the, uh, what do you call it? The Chirp Crypto, which should give us a little bit of an investment. We just lost a little bit of money, but it will go back up pretty quickly. Um, we just need to wait. And yeah, sure, now it drops, right? It'll go back up. It usually bounces back up pretty high. So we already made 117. I'm just going to hold on to it like for a little while and see if we can't get back up to like 104 when it spikes up again. And we'll see if we can't get... Okay, we got like 200 from that. It looks like it might still go up. So I'm going to just hold on to it a little bit longer and we'll see if we can't get most of the investment out of it. Okay, we'll just wait for it. It kind of went down a little bit, but I have a pretty good feeling that it will go higher again. We'll see if we can't keep an eye on it and see if we can't get a pretty good outcome. So we got 65,000 from that. Uh, went down to negative 91. It teases us, right? Because you don't want to like... Because it was mostly stable all throughout there, and then it was just like dropped, right? So as soon as we purchased it. I'm pretty sure it's programmed to do that. Um, like if you buy so much shares, it'll probably like impact the um, odds and stuff, but we'll see if we can't get a little bit higher than that. Okay, 200. I think I'm going to sell out for that right now. Got a little bit of money from that. And it didn't seem to go any higher at that point, so... Okay, so it dropped again. And looks like it will be going up in just a second. So what I'm going to do is buy out again, and we'll see if it can't get a little bit more. Okay, it just dropped, so we'll have to wait a little bit. Yeah, so basically all these stocks have uh, impact on each other in some way or another. So when one of these stocks is like for death care, you might have something else uh, impacted. So we'll sell out that right now because I didn't get it at a really low price. But we got a little bit of money from that just from buying crypto, which is really cool. Um, all right, so our farming industry, we got uh, this all set up over here. We could... Uh, improve this a little bit more I think um, by adding a few other buildings and stuff down uh, I'm not sure how much crops we're actually making but we might
so I was thinking about putting some uh, transit options in for um, not just transit, but the uh, couple um, walk tours as well. So some tour buses and stuff like that. Uh, we have quite a few different scattered around um, areas where tours could possibly be a good thing. Uh, we have down here, which is... I'm not sure why down here is so important, but um, there's quite a few different places down here that are um, worth tourism attraction. And then there's the um, area over here, which is that park, our city park that we built up. So that's a really good one for that. We might be able to put a walking tour in around there, maybe even a bus tour. And uh, we have that amusement park that we've been working on. Oh, well, <laughs> haven't been working on more or less, but uh, we should probably get that up to level five. And we could probably do a walking tour in there. Uh, we have some smaller places around here, not as significant. Uh, we also got this area, which is our um, people's island, which I did expand a little bit over here. Uh, which we'll be able to um, put something in there. I'm not sure what just yet, but we might be able to fit something in there. Um, either more pedestrian or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what we're going to be doing over there. Uh, if we can branch off a road, maybe that would be good. Or something. I'm not sure. But we have this whole entire area. We got the... Uh, parks over here, the parking lots, that's apparently high tourism, I don't know why. Uh, we got some tennis ball parks, and then we have that uh, area over here. So there's a lot of little spotted areas. We have the, ex the aquarium and a few hotels and that thing. So we'll see if we can't set up a couple things around the town for that. I need to remember where all that is though, so I think it's here uh, we're going to need a tour bus um, depot figure what I'll do is I'll probably put it probably out of way uh, so it's not too dense uh, we'll still if we can oh we can fit it right there perfectly awesome Okay, so what we'll do is we'll set up a couple bus lines first and see if we can't monopolize on some of these things.
Alright guys, so I got this little coastline all set up, so I worked on the train and putting some rocks and stuff in, as well as some trees, and it's all ready for a little bit more development over on this side. We have a little bit of space that we can still uh, put some, some buildings and stuff. Uh, mainly worked on this area a little bit. Just some small houses, uh, apartment buildings and stuff like that, and... Uh, filled it in with that little section that we had there um, outside of that what we worked on was I didn't touch too much the um, the, the plantation but uh, we did get uh, a little bit more uh, meat buildings put down I don't know how much we're actually making yeah we're making enough uh, all that goes to the animal products though it is pretty backed up here so we might need to figure out a solution for that um, outside of that, we got um, a little bit of train work over d down over here done. I needed to remove a whole bunch of cliffs and stuff like that, but that's good. And I worked on that intersection, so we got that all set up. Uh, a lot of traffic can still bypass all this uh, main line here, so that's perfect because a lot of these people are coming in for uh, traffic they kind of go around and then this way and then wherever they need to go from there so I'm pretty happy with how that's set up we still need transportation for here I, I think a subway system would probably do best and then we can branch off over here when we have more time but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out